Anyone who thinks everyone should avoid nightshades is going way too extreme, in my opinion. But there are definitely people who have issues with nightshades, so let's talk about it. First, the nightshade family of plants are called Solanaceae, and there are 2,700 species in this family. Most of these plants are extremely toxic, so these are plants you'll never eat, but the nightshade plants that are commonly eaten are tomatoes, white potatoes, eggplants, and peppers of all types. Tomatillos are also nightshades in case you eat those, and goji berries and ground cherries are also nightshades. So let's go directly into genetics today. Keep in mind, humans have about 3 billion base pairs of DNA, with about 20,000 genes within all of that DNA code. And also keep in mind, a gene is about 3,000 base pairs of DNA. Think about it like 3,000 letters in a long document with 20,000 paragraphs. So one of your 20,000 genes is called BCHE, and BCHE is the major gene involved in nightshade sensitivity. It's technically called butylcholinesterase, and BCHE is the abbreviation. Anyway, this BCHE gene has exactly 40 known SNPs in humans. This means within this single gene, again, a gene is about 3,000 letters, within this gene, there are about 40 positions that we find mutated within the human population. Now a SNP, in case you need a reminder, a SNP is a single nucleotide polymorphism, which is like a single letter change in a 3,000 letter paragraph of your document. So anyway, this gene, BCHE, has 40 variants in humans, but only four of these have been found to cause nightshade sensitivity. I'll flash them all up on my screen here. And just so you know, all four of these nightshade gene SNPs are very rare, so you probably don't have any issues. I talked to someone today that had this genetic issue, but it's been about a month since I've seen it until today during a DNA consult. And it's worth mentioning the numbers here. The most common BCHE mutation is RS1799807, and this gene SNP also causes problems with certain prescription drugs called cholinesterase inhibitors. So it's going to impact a number of Alzheimer's drugs in case that's relevant to your situation. But in my opinion, cholinesterase drugs are terrible drugs for treating Alzheimer's. They have a lot of downsides and they don't work for longer than a few months. So I generally recommend approaching Alzheimer's with an emphasis on understanding your specific genetic risks and then focus on preventing Alzheimer's with properly planned diet, supplements, uh, good deep sleep, and exercise. But getting back to the nightshades, if you have a BCHE gene, your body doesn't break down solanine very well. So solanine is extra toxic. What's solanine? That's the unique toxin found in nightshades, especially in raw, uncooked nightshades. And just so you can see the numbers from the general population here, about 0.9% of people that were tested from Utah have this genetic variant, 0.9%. But 0% of people from China, 0% from Japan, 0 from Nigeria have this genetic issue. So again, it's super rare. Even having one copy of this gene is rare. So the idea that everyone needs to avoid nightshades is way too extreme, like I said in the beginning. Now one thing I've heard is that cooking reduces solanine, the toxin found in nightshades. In fact, when I ask the AI, it says solanine is reduced 40 to 50% in peeled potatoes with boiling, which sounds very promising, but when I go to the actual studies, Boiling reduces solanine only about 4%. It says 95.9% of solanine remained in potatoes after boiling. So apparently the search engines have some work to do here and the AI has some work to do. Uh, so cooking may help a tiny bit, but my overall conclusion is if you happen to have this rare BCHE genetic variant, avoid the nightshades, tomatoes, white potatoes, and peppers.